We were absolutely delighted to be one of the 10 nominated charities to benefit from the 2019 Inspire Awards. And I am hoping, like the lottery, there's a, there's a rollover. And I'm pleased to share with you all the support we have received from Dr. Trish Horton, who was the winner of the Woman in Education Award, and she was the overall winner of the Northwest Woman of the Year Award as well. So as part of Impact 100, each award winner selects a charity to commit their time to, and that is 100 hours of voluntary service. And we're very grateful that Trish chose Endeavour as her charity. In September, Trish organised a domestic abuse symposium at the University of Bolton, and it was for the benefit of midwifery and nursing students. It was a free ticketed event. There were 75 places, and they were all booked on the first day with a waiting list. Unheard of, I've been told. We worked with Trish to put an agenda together, and we highlighted to students the Endeavour services, referral routes, and we explained about different forms of domestic abuse. We ran an exercise with some more doing some participation and highlighted how abuse, cohesion and control impacts on a person's well-being. We also shared how we work with partner agencies because that is very, very important because people need to receive a complete package of support. The highlight of the day was undoubtedly four amazing women who'd been through our service. They shared, shared their personal stories and the support they received from Endeavour. And one particular woman had experienced abuse whilst being a student at the university. It was the first time she had publicly shared her story and whilst nervous, she felt empowered. At the end of the day, each woman came up to me and said they'd felt unlifted and they felt somewhat unburdened by sharing their story in the hope of helping others. As you can imagine, it was a very, very emotional day, and anyone who's seen the pictures, I've either got a tissue in my hand or I've got a very red face. Several of the students bought, su sought support and advice from us following the event, and I'm pleased to say we came at just the right time for one particular individual. She engaged in our service, and she's now in a much improved situation because of the event that day. To complement the symposium, Trish invited other agencies to host information stalls and she organised a fundraising event in the foyer. This included a tombola, a cake stall and a fantastic raffle and raised £780 for the charity. Following the event, feedback scores were extremely high and we've agreed with Trish to support future events for all new intakes of students. We were aware many students in other faculties wanted to attend, and so we're looking to roll this out for wider benefit and ultimately make this a standard curriculum item. Following the day, we've received many requests for student placements, and we're working to facilitate this and support as many as we can. One message we reiterated to students on the day was the importance of finding out about local provision in the area, as they are going to disperse across the country or maybe even internationally in their careers. And Trish said in her introduction to the students, as a future healthcare professional, you need to be fully aware of domestic violence. You must have an insight for signposting to any service user in your care. For the midwifery students, we explained, statistically, domestic abuse becomes worse when a woman is pregnant. They may be the only healthcare professional a woman has one-to-one -one access to, and it's vitally important they know how to recognise the signs of abuse and how to respond. So in conclusion, because of these awards, we've developed a lasting relationship with the university and Trish, and it's thanks to, thanks to Impact 100, which is an aspect of the Inspire Women Awards. Ending domestic violence is at the heart of the work we do, and awareness raising is vital. The relationship with Trish has connected our charity to future healthcare workers and we have had the opportunity to embed knowledge at the start of their careers. As a rolling programme, this will save lives and in terms of impact, it's the ultimate goal. Thank you.